like something to do is that real shit you ain't got nothing to prove if you want to feel the energy and Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of Road to the Draft, our fourth here in Melbourne and arguably the biggest. I know uh, Baseline Footy will be watching this one intently because it's their two love childs that are coming on today. We've got, uh, we've got mercurial goal scorers, we've got generational talents, and besides from that, we've got Harley Reid and Nick Watson. Boys, get in here. Oh, boys! <laughs> Reedy, what are, how are we going? Take a seat, boys. Good to have you. Reedy, we'll start with you. How are you feeling, mate? Are you, are you nervous? Obviously, you come into this as, you know, the sort of prospective pick one. So everyone's going to be watching to make sure that you are as good as they say. Do you feel the nerves, I guess, battling? Yeah, I oh, um, feel, feel the nerves here and there, but I'm pretty good with it. It doesn't really get to me. So, yeah, just keen for it. Good day for it, too. So, yeah. Yeah, and what are you're obviously on people's social media all the time with how much baseline footy is posting you. So you should be used to it by now. But... How are you feeling now that it's going to be, I guess, a bit more choreographed? Do you feel nervous? Do you feel like maybe if you don't win the game of pick here that you might not never get a post to on our baseline again? No, the nerves don't get to me. Hopefully I'll play at the pick. All right, and yeah, boys, this is obviously the toughest challenge you'll face this year. Reedy, you've seen what I play. How do you think you'll go? Yeah, I don't know. He um, usually usually sucks for the free kick, so he <laughs> might be on board there, but yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and what I obviously mean, everyone's <laughs> always talking about, Reedy. Yeah. Is he as good as they say? Do you think he'll be able to step up here? Um, he's not very good in front of goal, I must admit. Yeah. So, Cole. Um, <laughs> he, he's got the new Pumas out, so yep. that might give him a gig, but no hope, I reckon. All right, let's get into it, boys. <laughs> all right, boys, time for the skills trail now. Obviously, what I we've seen all of your worldy goals that you managed to kick, and Reedy, you're potent on half back. Now you want to become that dangerous mid forward. So you're both looking to become big goal scorers this year. I was obviously voted the most underrated amateur Colts defender in 2021. Um, so it's going to be a real good challenge. I don't even know who's going to explain it because you can't, boys can't decide between yourself. But what are we doing for today's skill drill? Um, so we're just um, right now where someone's kicking up the top, we're leading out, um, just finish off with a goal. Um, Reedy's going to show you how crafty he is, he reckons. So. Um, we'll get to it. <laughs> oh, great heavens! He doesn't like the pressure. Is <laughs> it nicely from a one or two meter start? Oh, look at that! A cat bar! I'd say that was the toughest defending I've ever had to do, but I'd be lying because you just couldn't manage to finish your dinner. Yeah. Um, yeah. It was it, I guess, the nerves? Was it the defensive pressure? What was it there? Yeah, I think it's probably the, the top. Yeah. Seen the pioneers, and I thought I'm a team man, so yeah. I might share it. The back. Nah. Exactly. That was sort of my thinking. I just yeah. thought I'd save myself because for today I am now a Pyos fan because yeah. uh, what I didn't bring me in a Rangers hat with his signature on it, unlike Reedy. Oh, no. So uh, <laughs> I'm going to be looking out for blood in this next one. Reedy, do you have any advice for water? Yeah, probably just just watch the hips. He's a, he's a quick man. Um, pretty strong through the hips too. Nah, pretty nervous. He looks like a competitor. So I'm getting to it. Yeah, let's do that. See you later, stinky. <laughs> 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 go Hayden! Get out of first! <laughs> oh no! Oh that's bad by me. The wizard's got nothing. Where do you want it? <laughs> <laughs> Don't go that high in ammo. <laughs> <laughs> ah! Oh, that's bad. Crumbled. There's a um, few rumours floating about when you get a large with a big dog, you hear a few things. Supposedly, people out in this draft class are out buying followers on Instagram. Mate, if you want a few. On that social media cloud, just get on, mate. We're always here for you. Don't need to be buying followers. Cads, um, I know you're behind that screen there. Um, just thought I might say you're posting misses more on Instagram than you do of yourself, so yeah. 
Rob, I know you're watching this, mate. Um, you, you don't need to check up on your missus every minute. She's all right. She's all right. Don't worry about her, mate. Boys, time to go pick. Now, um, in terms of kicking order, we are going to go uh, in reverse order of cow terming power rankings. Um, so I'll be going first, <laughs> which is honestly pretty stiff because I'd say we're one, two, three yeah. here. Yeah. Um, so, what I. You will be going second, yeah. um, but that is just because Kyo Tomi maybe has a little bit of a crush on uh, our friend over here. But uh, <laughs> look, he loves anyone from Victoria. He just doesn't have time for us WA boys. Yeah. He's one of the top two. But um, Reedy, we saw your kicking earlier today. Um, smelt a little bit. It's yeah. stuck early. Yeah. Do you reckon that was just getting the bad ones out of the way? Yeah. Or yeah. Um, um, no, nah, we just had to dust the leather off the boot. Yeah. The freshies, but yeah, just. I feel like I'll be on now. This is where the real stuff starts, so yeah. Yeah, and what I obviously, they call you the wizard. You were pulling out some magic earlier. Um, you were getting on your broomstick and soaring high, but in terms of your actual goal kicking, do you reckon you're going to be able to replicate some of the stuff that we've seen on baseline so many times? Do you reckon you're going to be able to get out the duff here? Um, we'll wait and see. Um, we've got Hal to his boyfriend here, so he might step up. Steady. <laughs> <laughs> we'll wait and see. we got um, reverse order, so yeah. you go first, see what you pull out. Are we doing a um, drop punt from the boundary? Um, hopefully, it gets the boys here. Oh! Radio. Um, she got a little cheeky drop punt from about, I reckon, 45 out. So, show water how we do it down in the bush. Right in. <laughs> Reedy started off with a nice easy one, so it should be good. Legs are feeling a bit tight, uh, just because I've been on them a lot, you know, running around, working, keeping Victoria afloat with um, the hospitality industry, so if it doesn't go in, that's probably the only reason. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! This is probably my pocket, so. Got H Reed all over it. Oh, that's curvous. Petey's just abused the victory boys behind us. Said, do you know who I am? I'm going to pick one this year. So uh, someone needs to humble him clearly and I'm going to have to be that man. Come on. Yeah, mate. Oh, He's got a better kick than I do. So this is obviously a hard one for me and Harley. We're not too good straight in front, so yeah. Oh, oh no, he hasn't had in the house. I was just... Silly yeah, goose. Thinking about when what I can see next one. <laughs> oh, go ahead. Wait, have you started it? Yeah. Well, this is awkward. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. Yeah. Well, I've got an assist from the victory, the victory boy over there, the soccer boy. I told him to play a real sport, but... Uh, I'll just get it back on track here. Oh, yes. <laughs> Come on! Alright, so I've got, got the Melbourne boys here, the Victory boys. Um, they're taking over footy now, they've told me. They've given up soccer. They've just seen a way to go about it. So here's, here's one for the album. Staying on the run. Oh! oh. <laughs> Victory boys are getting to talk to from their teacher. I always let the lights down. <laughs> Gotta stay away from there. Um, stick to a dribble because I know Brady's got no chance with this. Right, yeah, so we got the left foot snap here. Thought we might change it up it's because, um, you know, me and what I don't really use our left foot as much. But I heard the gooch does, so yeah. <laughs> oh, fuck. Oh! Far out! I can't kick. Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm glad I kept the camera rolling for that. Right, yeah, so I got, got the hat off, so mean business now, so. Just a little drop punt. I don't reckon what I will kick this, so he'll be out. Where'd you go last time? Shut up. 
Oh! Ah. He wanted to make it nice and easy for us. Mate, you like got a magnet on out the pool because it just goes there every time. Just got to block out the haters here. <laughs> uh, your mum's dad. Oh my oh, god! I'm towing it! It stuck to me hand, boy! If I miss this, not gonna lie, it deserves to be out, so. I <laughs> Mate, you're like some water! <laughs> oh, three! Come on! Oh, he's giving me a bit of lift at the moment. Might need to just stop this, get him a letter. There we go. Come back. Bang! Right out, that's, that's light work, baby. He kicks me out of the pool, yeah, choppers. Uh, tensions are getting really high here. I think we're all saying things. <laughs> mean when I say I'm going to slot this. <laughs> this show sucks. I fucking hate this. <laughs> oh, see you later, Reedy. Draw scores level. Harley Reed. Perspective pick one. Let's go drop him down to pick two if he misses this one. Pick three if it's out on the full. Oh. I don't know really who Harley Reid is. He's doing push ups right now. <laughs> Boy, better. <laughs> no, don't have that in. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing to say either. I'll just get to it. Oh, no, I'm done. I'm done. There we go. Yep, I'm done. GG. <laughs> nah, nah, she's not over to the fat lady starts singing, eh? <laughs> Over. I think it's over. Damn. Oh my fucking god. He literally hit the fucking hoodie. Let's go, 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 let us go I was, I was looking good too, I hadn't had a letter and these boys were on PI. It was when he started talking about victory boys. Yeah, I reckon. Hang on your head. That's what got me down. And then the teacher came over and gave him a spray, so I reckon that put me in a mentality that put the boys down, so it bring me down a bit. Yeah. Bring me down a level. Just sort of a team player like that. Yeah, yeah, and for sure. what are yourself, you were the first to PI, and then you, I guess, you know, you, you like to be the underdog, you bounce back for the win. How do you feel? Is that, you know, not just a win for you, but a win for short kings everywhere? Yeah, so, um, Obviously started off pretty slow against you boys. I thought I was cooked and then yeah, Harley and you blokes and Hayden you started kicking down the full and just all clicked for me I guess. So no need to. Gives gives a hope for the 170s. We spoke about it out there, but as far as the football you guys are, we obviously see heaps of your highlights, we hear blokes talking about you. No one wants to read articles anymore because there's too many words in them. So in your words, what kind of a footballer are you? What what position or positions do you play? What role do you play? What players do you like? Tell us a bit about you as a footballer. Yeah, so obviously I'm um, Bendigo Pioneers boy in the Coast Talent League now. So um, I play that. I played mid forward for my first upcoming years, and then last year moved to a new role down back. So played on the half back for big country. So bring that versatility into my game. So that worked. That worked well. And probably looked at it at the start and like, oh, I don't really want to play here. Like, who wants to play back line? But in the end, I kind of went open-minded with taking that role and I felt that it was something I enjoyed doing. It was it was new, it was different and being a bottom major, like it's good experience and new opportunities. So yeah. So also like I'd probably like the way I'd probably compare my game off is probably like bring attributes like from Dustin Martin, like Christian Petrarca, like that role, that mid forward. Um, like even just simple things like that they bring to the game. Like they're always there when the game's there to be won and just like the strength they bring around the pill. So yeah. Yeah, now what I, he'd obviously revised his answer. I don't know if you've got something as elegantly <laughs> spoken to say, but as far as your role, your position, you know, tell us a bit about you as a footballer because we see the goals and they're amazing, but you know, when you're not kicking goals, what kind of footballer are you? The position, positions you like to play, your role within the team, the people you play like. Can you tell us about you as a footballer? Yeah, so I'm a basically all forward, um, get a mid time every now and then, even a bit of wing, but. Um, Mainly forward due to my height. Predominantly forward, bit of mid, um, bit, bit of wing every now and then. Um, like tick some snags, forward pressure, be a, get under the backman's skin even. Um, yeah, just like to sort of take game, like a bit of Charlie Cameron, um, Tom Papley, even like the Shy Bolton. Um, like to take similar um, attributes out of them, contributing to mine. Um, 
yeah, overall probably just a dominant forward, like to keep the snags. Who doesn't? Um, yeah. Absolutely. Big chaos. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, as far as this year, obviously, both of you come into this year. Harley, you're obviously spoken about already as the pick one. And what I, you were getting so much media coverage last year with the, the amount of goals you were kicking and the quality of the goals you were kicking. So, you're both, you know, two of the highest, if not the two highest rated players in this year's draft. Well, when you come into the year, I guess, with that in mind, I've obviously never come into a football season um, with expectation to play well, let alone extremely well and be the best. Do you feel, I guess, any pressure with an expectation to, to live up to pick one or mercurial goal talent or these sort of labels that you guys see next to your name in as articles or posts about you? Yeah, well, I'll, I'll go first. Um, yeah, no, like, yeah. I don't, I don't really, I don't, it doesn't feel like it's true, to be honest. Like, you look in the past years, you look at like when all this stuff's spoken about, us two and all the other boys that are in the draft like you look back at that and you probably think oh well that's that's pretty cool like i wish that was me and then when it is it doesn't really feel like it's reality it doesn't feel like it's true so it's kind of cool but like i'm i'm pretty good with that stuff i find like it doesn't really get to me i um, don't think about it much so it just doesn't feel like it's true so yeah yeah and yourself auto yeah um i don't look into it deeply either um it's similar to harley what he said you just sort of block it out because it's still early days still got a whole year to go so um just sort of take a week by week and when you get to that draft stage that's when you probably get more deeply into it. Yeah, now both of you were probably at a quality that you could have been picked up last year, you know, had you been eligible, but as far as, you know, from last year to this year, you, you look at the end of last season to the start of this season, what are the main aspects and areas of your game that you're looking at and going, if I want to be better, this is where I need to improve, and how do you go about trying to improve that? Yeah, so probably, um, for me, it'd be my probably writing ability, so all that that like this year's pre-season I've tried to um, have a big pre-season so like last couple of years I haven't really been to a full pre-season so for travel wise for training like it's been a bit tough a bit hard so haven't been able to have access to put in a big pre-season so this year I've tried to increase that a lot and um, feel like the time where I'm at at the moment so I feel like I'm in a good state with body and all so yeah just probably that running ability I want to improve on and even just get better each week continue to improve my attributes that I bring to the game and strength, so yeah. Yeah, similar to Harley, probably my running endurance. If I want to play that midfield role this year as well, you know, um, stay fit for that. And then like just working on the small forward craft as well. Yeah, now you're obviously both going to be quite humble about your talents. So I want you to say something about each other. Uh, Harley, about Nick, what do you think is his best aspect? What do you think is his you know, something you see he does that I guess you wish that you could do as well as he does. Yeah, baby. On or off the field. <laughs> <laughs> we'll go with on the field. Nah, right, yeah. um, nah, probably just the ability he's got around the pill, like his speed, his moves just like that. Um, and he's, as we've seen just in that game, he's, he's kicking attributes, like put him anywhere and he'll probably slot it. So yeah. Yeah, and what, uh, anything you'd like to take from Harley's game? You can say no if you'd like, but uh, you, know, you know, seeing Harley play and all that, what is something that you see that he does that I guess you wish you could do as well as he does? Just that, you just got that natural generation of talent. Um, do it around the footy, you can't stop him, really impossible to tackle. So you, you'll love that as well. At least I'm crying. Just one last thing, again, not about you boys, but about anyone else in this year's draft class. Now, you two would probably be two of, if not the two best players in this draft. Uh, as it stands, so as far as who's battling for third, other than me, because that's the obvious answer, who would you say, aside from the people here, is someone that everyone should really be looking out for in this draft class? Who's it's probably the top, and who's somebody you think maybe isn't spoken about enough? Probably a few boys that I reckon. There's there are a few people that come out. Jackie Delean, watch out for him. Jackie <laughs> Delean, great right, call. Jackie Delean, keep yep, an eye on love him. That. Be... The wheelie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Watch out for him. I, was, I thought that too, I reckon. Probably his attributes he brings to the game. Like, attributes he's writing. Yeah, he's yeah. Handwriting. <laughs> his handwriting is probably the best you'll ever see. Is, is that genuine? Like, yeah, genuine. Yeah. The best you'd see. Yeah. So I don't reckon he's got his pen license yet. <laughs> I actually never got my pen license. Yeah, sure. Do they have those kind of licenses in, in a choker? Um, no, they did back in the day, actually, but not anymore. Yeah, we're eligible. Yeah. All right, boys, thank you so much for coming on. It's been such a pleasure to have you both on. Um, I really can't wait to roll out there on the same footy field together playing AFL yeah, and love that. kicking better snacks than we were today. <laughs> no, thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Nice to meet you. All right.